So when looking at a parabola, we want to be able to um, determine where the function is negative, and we do that based on intervals of the x-axis. So we can determine where the function is negative and where the function is positive. And when we talk about the function being positive versus negative, we're just talking about the sign of the y values. Whereas when we talk about the function's rate of change increasing versus the function's rate of change decreasing, that's a little different. So here it's just saying what values of x is the function negative. So we're looking for those negative y values. So we're looking for the parts of x where the y values drop below the x-axis because that's where the function would have negative y values. Is anything below the x-axis? So that's the part of the graph that would represent the negative part. But when you, when you look at the interval, you're basing the interval on the x-axis. So for this first function that has a negative leading coefficient because it opens down, our y values are negative for all of this portion of the x-axis all the way up until you get to that x-intercept of negative 3. So that's everything, all of the y values that are to the left of, so less than, negative 3. And then also when you get over to this x-intercept of positive 1, after positive 1, everything in that table of values, every x value there is going to be associated with a y value that's negative. So all x values greater than 1. So we're describing the x values, which x values have negative y values that correspond to them. For this function, it's not the two ends of the function, it's in the middle, so it's in between two x values that we would see negative y values in the table. So we would again identify the x-intercepts as negative 1 and 3, so between the x values of 3 and negative 1 here, we would have negative y values associated there. Now that question is a little different than looking at this question, which says, which describes all of the values for which the graph is positive. Okay, well that part is the same. Graph is positive, except here we're talking about the positive side above the x-axis, where is the graph above the x-axis, okay, that's the positive, above the x-axis there, and on this one, there's the positive above the x-axis. So we've highlighted the positive part, but here they're also asking us to identify decreasing. When we use the words increasing and decreasing, we're talking about our rate of change, so that's like our slope. This would be increasing, anywhere where as x approaches, as you move from left to right, your y values are increasing, so a positive slope, and this would be decreasing, a negative slope. So we're looking for the portion of the graph that as you move from left to right, what's happening to the y values here? As we move from left to right here, the y values are going all the way up to the vertex. We move from left, here we go, we are increasing. So it's not this section, it's from the vertex to this side of the vertex. That's where we start decreasing. So this side of the vertex is decreasing. So our y values are positive and our y values are decreasing from the vertex at negative 1 all the way till you get to the x-intercept of positive 1. So that would be all of the values
from the vertex to positive one. So I could write that as the interval x, which is less than one, but greater than negative one. Now, if we look at our second example on the right, and we look for positive, so we've already highlighted positive, that would be above the x-axis, which side is decreasing? Only one side is decreasing. Does the left-hand side or the right-hand side of this parabola represent the decreasing side? Well, since the parabola opens up, the left-hand side is decreasing. If the parabola open down, the right-hand side would be decreasing. So we know that the left-hand side here, as we move from left to right, is going down. But once it gets to that x-intercept, after the x-intercept, it drops below the x-axis, which means it's negative. So we're only wanting the positive part that's decreasing. So that's everything to the left of this x-intercept. Everything to the left of this x-intercept to the left of is less than, so that is everything less than the x-intercept at negative one would represent positive and decreasing. 